Hi, I'm Shannon. Up first, I have a pretty cool announcement. We're hosting our second ever Square Unboxed Hackathon. It's going to start today, and just like last year, you can use any of our APIs and SDKs to build software for our sellers. There'll be tens of thousands of dollars in prizes spread across a half dozen categories. But if you use some of the products we're announcing today, you'll be treated to additional prizes. Learn more about this announcement during the hackathon kickoff at the end of the developer track. At last year's Square Unboxed, Square Developer announced new APIs and SDKs, like the Square Snippets API for Square Online and the Square Web Payments SDK. Since then, developers have been using our APIs and SDKs to build the apps Square sellers need and are absolutely loving. But we're not just building for sellers, we're also building tools for developers. Over the last year, we've incorporated some of the incredibly useful tools, such as Square API logs, into the Square Developer dashboard. So you can monitor things like webhooks in development and understand your network traffic in production better. Something that's really exciting is we're not the only ones building for Square developers. We're seeing a number of really quality open source tools being created by the Square developer community. Joining me here from Miami is Roland Sierra from Seed. Seed has been doing React for a couple years now and has been in the Square developer community even longer. At last year's Square Unbox Tapathon, we were thrilled to see Seed create an open source wrapper for Square Web Payments SDK. I'd love to give Roland a chance to tell us about Seed and open sourcing this project. Thanks, Shannon. At Seed, we believe that the key to accelerate growth is integration. That's why we create tools that enable us to accelerate the development speed for us and the community. Seed integrates with Square for all sorts of solutions, from our multi-tenant SaaS solution called Wanda to Pink Cloud, Inventory Sync, custom payments focus on B2B, subscriptions, and more. Like you mentioned, we have been a React shop for a few years, and we really wanted to make Square's SDK smooth, stylish, and a fast payment form available to the React community. We're using this React SDK ourselves, but we release this project as an open source, and we maintain and support it. We do this not just for us, but so that the community can make new features for the library to support the latest additions to Square Web's payments SDK, such as Afterpay. It's really simple to use. Let me give you a quick demo. First, just add the NPM package to your React project. Then we'll import the form. And we're ready to add the payment form in React. And don't forget, best practice is to use a strong customer authentication, SCA, to verify the budget and prevent fraud. We can do that in React with just a few more lines. We're proud to be sharing this new tool with the community. Thank you, Roland. It's great to see what Seed is building for the open source community. We love seeing all of the SDKs that Square developers are open sourcing in such a variety of languages and frameworks. But that's not all developers have been building. I'd like to also welcome Kara and Kenneth from Google to talk about some of the things they've been working on for Square developers. Thanks, Shannon. Hi, my name is Kara, and I'm a product manager on the Firebase team. Hi, and my name is Kenneth, and an engineer on Google Pay. Our mission with Google Pay is to provide simple, secure, and seamless payments for everyone, everywhere. Today, there are hundreds of millions of payments method, billing, and shipping address that users have securely stored with Google. The Google Pay API for Android and web enables you to copy the information in a secure way and allow your users to check out with a click of a button. When developers use the Google Pay API, they integrate it with their chosen payment service provider, such as Square. The Google Pay API then securely transfers a user's payments credentials to Square, which processes the payments on your behalf. Last year, we launched a series of open source samples demonstrating the server-side integration between Google Pay and a variety of payment service providers, such as Square. These samples also show how to create a unified interface for integrating multiple PSPs, making integrations as easy as possible by reducing the time investment in integrating multiple APIs and client libraries. Since then, we've taken this a step further and brought this unified PSP interface to the Firebase platform. Firebase is Google's app development platform. Our mission is to help developers succeed by making it super easy to build and grow apps and games users love. We know that turning your idea into an app is a lot more complicated than it sounds. Before you can start building features, you need to set up a backend and stitch together many different third-party services. This includes learning new APIs, 
writing code, figuring out how to make everything work together smoothly. Firebase extensions are open source prepackaged bundles of code that developers can easily pull into their apps and are designed to increase productivity. Extensions are configurable and make it super easy to integrate and extend functionality from third-party services without the need to research, write, or debug code on your own. The Google Pay Firebase extension allows you to send a payment token from PSPs like Square using the Google Pay API to your cloud Firestore database. The extension will listen to a request written to the path defined during installation and then send the request back to Square's API to process a payment. It will then write the response back to the same Firestore collection that your app can monitor for transaction responses. To learn more about the Google Pay Firebase extension, head on over to the Firebase extensions library where you can try it out today. Okay, we talked about the Google Pay API and how we're making the integration easier for Square developers. Now let's talk about the Google Pay for Business app, which provides merchants with a branded home to re-engage with your users and build relationships at scale. Millions of customers use the Google Pay mobile app to manage their transactions and save money and business they love or add new ones they've discovered. To allow more features and enrich the customer experience for the Square ecosystem, we've launched the Google Pay for Business Square Marketplace app. Google Pay for Business gives Square merchants of all sizes an easy way to engage with Google Pay users and create better in-store to digital experiences. The extension, or we call the app, connects with the, Google, with the Square Pulse API. Once a user makes a transaction with you, your branded home is auto-generated in Google Pay mobile app along with the transaction details. This makes it easy for the user to receive a transaction receipt and notifications and it opens up a number of meaningful re-engagement opportunities. We are also working on new features for merchants to actively send offers or coupons to their customers through the Google Pay app. We're just starting our journey by partnering with our number of Square merchants to test and shape the roadmap for this product to make it meaningful to you and your users. If you would like to be considered as an early access partner and work with the Google team to try and building out new features, please check out the app marketplace for Google Pay for Business. Thank you, Kenneth and Cara. I'm really excited to see how you're releasing open source tools to unlock this type of deep integration between Square sellers, their customers, and Square developers. I'll stop there for now. I've got to go meet up with a very special guest. In the meantime, I'll hand it back to Shantae to tell you all about it.